Also, President Trump continues to hold firm behind his central campaign promise to make Mexico pay for the wall. Here's more on how it can happen despite a repeated opposition from the Mexican government. President Trump once again refuses to back off his promise to build a southern border wall. In a phone call with his Mexican counterpart, Enrique Peña Nieto, over the weekend, President Trump denied Nieto's demand that he publicly denounced his call that Mexico will pay for the border wall. The president's unwavering commitment to hold Mexico financially accountable to help stop the flow of illegal immigration reportedly caused plans for an upcoming White House visit to go south. This comes after President Trump made it clear to Peña Nieto he is not pulling his promise to the American people, despite Nieto's claim that Mexico will not pay for the wall. I believe that Mexico will pay for the wall. I have a very good relationship with Mexico. As you know, we're negotiating NAFTA. See how that goes. Yes, but Mexico will pay in some form. Mexico will pay for the wall. The president detailed just how much could possibly be recuperated from Mexico through NAFTA reform to fund the wall. We lose a tremendous amount of money, at least $71 billion here with Mexico. We lose a lot of money with Canada. Canada does not uh, treat us right in terms of the farming and the crossing the borders. So they'll either treat us right or we'll just uh, have to do business a little bit diff really differently. A renegotiation of NAFTA to balance the deficit could see tens of billions more come in from Mexico and be put towards covering the estimated $18 billion price tag of the wall. Signs of NAFTA reform are strong, as officials from all three North American nations have been frequently discussing the deal. Mexican funding for the wall may not only come through NAFTA reform, but also by cutting down on the cost of illegal immigration. For example, the sanctuary state of California alone reportedly pays $23 billion in health care, welfare, law enforcement, and education costs for illegal immigrants the most out of all 50 states. California Governor Jerry Brown is an idiot. Care just last year when he passed a bill allowing children and teens here illegally to enroll in Medi-Cal. We may be called to defend those laws and defend them we will. And let me be clear, we will defend everybody, every man, woman, and child who's come here for a better life and has contributed to the well-being of our state. Experts claim decisions by liberal government officials have left the state with nearly $255 billion of debt as these programs are added. Reports suggest that nearly half of the wages lost among low-skilled workers can also be attributed to migration. They also claim Latino Americans and African Americans are most adversely affected by the influx of illegals on the labor sector. Research also claims anchor babies cost the state $215 million in 1994 and has continued to cost taxpayers each year since then. An illegal immigrant mother only has to disclose that she's undocumented before receiving immediate and free medical care. We should be focused on trying to reduce our debts. He should be focused on trying to uh, restore our balance sheet to a better position and to say, I'm going to focus all my energy on climate change. You know, that's, that's like going after the shiny object. Through NAFTA reform and the southern border wall, the Golden State and the rest of the Union will be able to cut the economic burden of supporting millions of illegal immigrants, either by improving NAFTA to make Mexico a fair trading partner or by removing the burden of having to care for illegal immigrants. The southern border wall will come at Mexico's cost, one way or another. Booyah!